Hey guys, what's up? This is Kamwalx, and welcome to my first and double weapon review. Today we'll be looking at the Ghoul Purge weapons, the Quartok and Stubba. So it's been nearly a month since these weapons were introduced from the Ghoul Purge event, and have been through a small buff since then. So yeah, let's check them out. So we have the Quartok, the Grenier's four-barreled cousin to the Tenos Cybrus rifle series. This weapon's niche is that it used to fire four simultaneous shots, but since its patch, it now fires four consecutive shots in burst. Note, this is a Mastery Rank 9 weapon, so right off the bat, these specs are actually quite good. The standout stats include a critical chance of 19%, a critical multiplier of 2.3, a fast reload speed of 1.7, and an excellent status chance of 27%, and an IPS spread of 10, 7.8, and 9.2, with 37% of the total damage being impact. The even IPS spread makes it a contender to all factions. So let's see how it fares. So for this build, I'm running Heavy Caliber, Split Chamber, Serration, Vital Sense, Hunter's Munitions, Point Strike, Infected Clip, and Stormbringer. And this is the 4 for 1 build. Alright, so let's check out the Stubba. This weapon is the Grenier's compact and powerful version of an Uzi. This powerful Grenier Uzi relies on slash and impact damage to get the job done, making it suitable against Grenier infested and Corpus factions. This weapon boasts a critical chance of 21%, a critical multiplier of 1.9, and a status chance of 13. With an IPS spread of 14.2, 3.3, and 15.5, with 47% of the total damage being slash. Note that this is a Mastery Rank 5 weapon. Alright, so let's see how this weapon fares. I'll be using Prime Pistol Gambit, uh, Prime Target Cracker, Lethal Torrent, Hornet Strike, Pathogen Rounds, Convulsion, Jolt, and Barrel Diffusion. So yeah, both of these weapons are surprisingly really good still, even after their recent minor buffs and balances, and are easily definitely still endgame weapons, and surprisingly can be gotten with a fairly early enough mastery rank. It's a good thing though that the recent weapons that we've been getting lately have been really good. So let's just hope we get that two-handed katana soon, am I right Tenno? So in conclusion, to the post-balance patch of the Quartak and Stubba, both really have been buffed rather than nerfed in any way. With the Quartak, even though losing half its overall damage, a 50% increase in its fire rate which makes up for it in DPS, and its accuracy was significantly buffed since its original value of 58.8 to 90.9. In the end, the Quartak fires fast and stays accurate, and it shows. The Stubba with the ammo economy being increased by 30%, was a buff in itself as a means to self-sustain a bit more during battle. However, considering it a full auto weapon, a pistol mutation may be useful to those acclimated to automatic weapons. What do you think, Tino? But yeah, if you Tino found this to be really helpful, enjoyable, and informative, please leave a like, comment, and sub for more future Warframe content. Have a good day, Tino.